Hey, Michael Thiebaud here, Done For You Marketing Systems with this week's edition of Mike's Money Making Minutes. And what I wanna to talk to you today about is how your new customers find you. And most of them find you with, I gotta find mine, online, right? Using one of these, a smartphone or a desktop computer. But more people use a smartphone than use a desktop when they're searching for information, especially for local businesses like auto repair shops, retail, and restaurants. So let me show you how they do it and what they see. You've probably done this yourself, I'm sure, but you need to know what the process is so you can take control of it so you can get the lion's share of new customers in your town. All right, so let's switch over. So this is one of our clients and they own a vegan restaurant in Baltimore, Maryland. So you might have heard your new customers think about it this way. They might have heard um, one of their friends tell them, hey, you gotta check out this new vegan restaurant. It's really cool. The name of it's Land of Kush, okay? So your new customers heard the name from somewhere. They don't know any information about it. So what do they do? They gotta check you out online. It's just like the old school yellow pages, right? Back in the old days, we'd go and we'd look in the yellow pages and check that out to get information on the business, where they're located, little description, phone number, address, all that great information. But what do we do now? We just pick up our smartphone or we go to our desktop and we look. So they type in the name of the business because that's what they heard or they drove by uh, one of their friends or family members, coworkers, somebody told them about that restaurant. So what do they do? They type it in and they check it out. And what do they see first? They better see your website. If they don't, you got a problem with your website, you better talk to whoever did your website. Um, but they see your Google business listing. You can see over here. And then after that, they're gonna see social media. They're gonna see if you have any videos and they're gonna see your review sites, right? So you can see what pops out on the page. It's all these yellow stars and they're gonna click on that because they believe what other people say more than they believe about what you say about your business, right? So they're gonna read not one, not two, but at least three reviews. So you wanna make sure those top three reviews are stellar. So let's talk about the second way that new customers find your business. What they do is they go and they type in, and in this case, best vegan restaurant in the area, which uh, Land of Kush is in Baltimore, Maryland. So if I was in Baltimore, Maryland, I'd fill it in near me. I'm sure you've tried that and you've seen that yourself. But that's the second way new customers are going to find you and your business in your town. So, or they'll just type in vegan restaurant. So let me show you what pops up. This is called the coveted top three in Google because they're only going to see three Google business listings unless you're paying Google money, okay? And then they're gonna see the map. So what do they see? Liquid Earth, Land of Kush, and Gangster Vegan Organics. Land of Kush, right in the middle, number two. That's the sweet spot, right? With more uh, stars and reviews, 4.4. All right, so they're listed. They're right in the middle between the two. That's a great spot where you want to be. Then what do they see? They're going to see all these different review sites and listings. 10 best vegan restaurants in Baltimore. Eight best places to eat. Um, these are all local and national. TripAdvisor, the 10 best vegan restaurants in Baltimore, okay? So they're gonna see three business listings next to the map, and then they're gonna see a bunch of review sites, right? Okay, so you wanna be in control of that because your new customers are clicking on that where they're gonna decide where they're gonna spend their money, who they're gonna spend it with. And let me show you how you control that and one of the cool things you can do. So if you're you're also might be searching a review site, we do this when I do a lot of traveling, um, I'll go on TripAdvisor and find out if I feel like vegan, if I feel like Asian food, French food, Italian, whatever it is, I'll go to TripAdvisor because that's a separate search engine in itself, one of the largest in the world. So if you go and you type in best vegan spots, this is for last year, you got number one, Full Bloom, number two, City, O oh City, number three, our client, the Land of Kush, that's just not the best vegan restaurant in their town, in their state. That's in the entire United States, okay? So they're number three in the entire country. How do you think that affects 
their business. Obviously, it helps. It helps driving a bunch of new customers, and it's great for SEO. It does nothing but good things for their business and for attracting new customers. So if you want to do the same thing for your business, your restaurant, simply click the button below this uh, video and sign up. I'm doing a free webinar presentation. We have 100 seats for free, and I'm going to show you exactly how to get to the top of the review sites for your business category in the country. I will show you exactly the techniques that we've used to do this for several restaurants in the United States to reach the best of the best across Google and the review sites and how you can ethically steal away new customers from your competition to make sure that they come to your restaurant instead of your competition and how to protect yourself against any negative review so you never have to worry about a negative review again. Wouldn't that be cool? Yes, it would. It's super cool. So sign up below, click the button. It's next Tuesday, August 9th. 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Again, it's free for the first 100 people that sign up. Can't wait to see you there. We're going to have a lot of fun, and I got a bunch of cool, free stuff for you I'll give you on the webinar. Hope to see you there next Tuesday, 2 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Have a great week.